So I just found a super amazing platinum farming technique. It is beyond easy. You just need three volus. Two of them have to be volus engineers, and one of them is really good if you have an adept volus, but you don't need them. But their stasis is extremely helpful. But the best part about this tactic is that you don't need to use ammo bonuses or equipment bonuses whatsoever, except maybe Metagil Transmitter if it really helps, but you don't need it. Me personally, I don't like using the ammo bonuses and weapon bonuses. I rarely use them, even though I have like 70 of each. But you don't need them whatsoever. They barely even help. That's that's why I love this tactic of which I found with the Volus. They're so amazingly fat running with the Volus. But, oh, anyways. Rio Platinum Reaper. Has to be Reaper or else collectors will spawn. And collectors kind of ruin the tactic because Praetorians can kill you and they smack you to death. But you just come over to this little tiny corner on the far side of the map. Oh, we got three little balls sitting in trees, rolling around. <laughs> but you need to sit in this little tiny container and the Volus Adept will just shield boost. That's all he needs to do. The Volus Engineer in the back, just recon mine. Volus Engineer in the front, which is me, just spam recon mine. That's how easy it is. And occasionally you'll want to use the heavy melee shield block in between your recon mines. But it's so easy that it's just so easy! And you got the guy shield boosting in the back, so that makes you practically invincible. If you need another person to shield boost, you just have another person shield boost. And the paladin will just sit in the front. If he has the fire shield, which is really helpful, he can just smack away banshees and brutes and whatever else wanders in front of our path. And you just get the recon mine, goes through walls, and it kills people, killing husks in one hit without any sort of boost to the damage just the standard six points in it and it's just look at this banshees they don't execute you you can't get executed that's the best part about this so if somebody dies you just revive them I mean they can get stepped on if they get down but you can't get sink killed so that is by far the best thing ever and all these enemies are just walking in front of us and dying. You get, If you have one guy with a Rieger carbine, you can shoot at the Banshees and their barriers will go down. And they're just easy pickings. You can use Proximity Mine in between to damage them a little bit. But this is it's just so easy to do. I mean, there's almost no risk whatsoever to doing this because they can't sink kill you. If somebody dies, you revive them. And if you unfortunately all get down at the same time, which can happen if there's a Ravager or a Geth Prime or a Brute happens to quadruple smack all of you with a Lobster Claw of Death. You all go down, and somebody with Metagel Transmitter, boom, everybody's back to life. And the objectives are the only slightly difficult part, but they're honestly not that bad. The objectives are really easy. All you need to do is just go to the Diamond, obviously, have everybody shield boost. We got really lucky getting this escort in the middle that just brought us right back to our little shipping container. But it we've done all the objective. It's not really that different. Everybody just shield boost and do what needs to be done. Maybe you need a missile. You, you most likely need to missile if it's a target elimination, but you can always just wait for them to come to the shipping box. But if it takes too long, which can happen sometimes, you might need to go out and missile them. So that was pretty lucky on that first escort, and on wave six we got practically the same thing except easier because, it, look at this, it's just right there and brings us back to the shipping container. But if you get the hack, sometimes you'll have to use your missiles and your metagels, but it's basically just shield boost, shield boost, shield boost, wait till all the enemies gather up, then missile, and keep doing that over and over again. And we got the, once it's wave ten, we got the little device enabling. First one, you think it's going to be easy. First one's right next to us. Then the second one was across the map. So everybody just has to run together and shield boost because everybody will be invincible. One of our teammates unfortunately got down back there, but he waited long enough for the enemies to go away. And then he met a gel and just rejoined the group of assassinating. Now one of my friends died. I died next to him accidentally, obviously. And I just met a gel. And since I have the Metagel transmitter, we all get up, and while that was happening, other teammates got the objective. 
So we all huddled back into our little little box of doom. Wait for about 45 seconds. This is the extraction. Wait till it's about 45 seconds. And if there are a bunch of enemies in front of you, just use a missile. You don't have to, but most of the time you'll have to. So we wait till about 45 seconds. You can go a little bit later, a little bit earlier. Just change it up as you need, as you see fit. There was just one banshee there, and he got missiled. <laughs> Didn't really need to, but everybody starts running. Just shield boost. And it's so easy, because look, I you lose the shield. I lose the shield a lot, but just shield boost, and then you, you're invincible. Some people don't know this, but you're invincible for a short duration after you use shield boost. It's like uh, half a second or maybe one second, but once you get to the extraction, everybody just sits behind the cover and shield boosts. And the enemies won't even be near you because they'll all be on the other side of the map. And congratulations, you just beat Platinum the cheapest possible way ever. Yeah. 33 minutes. That's actually a really average time for Platinum. Enemies approaching. <sighs> Almost done with this garbage. Guarding the ammo. <laughs> Let's all do the roll at the same time. Oh my god. <laughs> we all gotta roll right at the same time. 